Greetings everyone, Sifu Rob Campbell back again with your Kung Fu Tip of the Month. Today we're going to be doing the Scarecrow Drill. So previously we were talking about stances and then in the last video we were talking about windmills. Now we're going to kind of put the, boat, put the two of them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out to my full horse stance, making sure I have a firm foundation, and I'm going to transition from my left half horse stance to my right half horse stance. But whenever I do this, the reason why we call this a scarecrow drill is because I want my arms to be loose and I want the momentum for my stance transition to carry my arms back and forth. So I'm pivoting on the balls of my feet and I'm letting my arms go loose and letting the momentum carry them. Now whenever you do this in the beginning, a lot of times people have the tendency to pivot on their heels and it throws them off balance. You want to keep sure, make sure that you have firm foundation. I'm keeping both of my heels on the ground, but I'm pivoting on the balls of my feet. I always tell the kids in my class, it's like squishing the bugs. So you want to make sure whenever you're doing this, you're keeping your heels on the ground, but you're squishing the bugs. It's almost like you're pressing off of the ground. Another subtle thing about this too, is I'm not just turning back and forth. There's circles in everything that we do in Kung Fu. So whenever I'm turning, there's a small dip that's in my hips. It's like I'm pressing off to the ground. So whenever I transition, there's a small little press that I'm doing. I'm not going way down, but there's a subtle, twi subtle uh, dip in the hips. So whenever you're practicing this, make sure your arms are loose. This is a good way to sync your windmills and your stance transitions together. All right. Thank you, everybody. Sifu Rob Campbell.